My name is Lori, I'm 64 years old, and I live with Favre disease. I have 35 first cousins, and I have a huge family history of Favre disease. When I was 14 years old, um, my younger brother was actually diagnosed, and my older sister, the two of us being females, were uh, told we are just carriers. Uh, growing up was pretty normal. I went to school. I was a very healthy child, did gymnastics. When I was younger, the symptoms that both my sister and I uh, frequently felt was um, pain in the extremities. Uh, in particular for me, foot pain was excruciating also. I think I probably first experienced um, being different than other kids was uh, with the ice skating but then more so the some of the stomach issues that I was having, and that really only got much worse as I got older. I went on to see several GI physicians, uh, was misdiagnosed with having irritable bowel, tried all sorts of medications. I also experienced headaches that they determined were totally unrelated again to Fabry. My brother was trying out for baseball, and he just was not able to play because of the heat intolerance. It actually caused a fair amount of arguments um, between my mom and dad at the time. Um, my dad not quite understanding why he couldn't do those things. My brother actually passed away when he was 34 years old and I was 39. I did expect my brother to actually die younger but younger in my mind was, I certainly expected him to live into his 50s or 60s. You know, knowing what we know now, even if there hadn't been a treatment um, to this day, his kidneys and quality of life probably could have been managed much better. And um, for that, we're all really sad. I think early diagnosis with Fabry is incredibly important. So many of the symptoms of Fabry are uh, mimicked in other disorders. When I had my daughters tested for Fabry, my younger daughter was 14, my older daughter was 16. Um, as it turned out, my younger daughter has Fabry disease. It was actually when I put some ideas on paper to um, talk to other patients several years ago that I described exactly what I went through growing up with my brother. And for the first time, I read it out loud to that same daughter and her husband, and she was moved to tears. And I don't think she had any idea. And then I realized that was my fault in not having the illness represented as well as it should have been and the consequences of not dealing with it or um, or not sharing it with other people. She actually was on therapy for about five years when she was 18 to about 22 um, and then quit when she uh, became pregnant with her first daughter and then never resumed. So now my granddaughter will be nine soon, so it's been that long since my daughter has been on treatment. Again, she looks the picture of health, she feels well, but um, you can't deny that it's a progressive disease and um, she just needs to jump on board. And my family, I, I know, would agree. We are totally thrilled that uh, every time we hear of somebody new coming up with anything for Fabry, you know, we lived in an environment where um, there wasn't anything. And so I'm hopeful when newly, you know, diagnosed people uh, have to unfortunately live with their diagnosis, but there are treatment options. So it's a whole different and much better ball game.